So obviously, since I have started getting into the YouTube boxing scene, I've talked about me wanting to fight and who I wanted to fight. Many people have given some suggestions. Some actually kind of make sense. Others are a little bit <laughs> questionable. Hasim? No, absolutely not. But uh, here I'm here to explain uh, my pick. Because I think I have finally found my pick. So, first of all, let's go through all the fighters I've wanted to fight first. So, the first one is Chase Damore. This one's obvious. I've talked about this numerous amount of times uh, here, Instagram. Uh, just like so much. I've wanted so much to fight Chase first. I want to end him like completely because I know Tempo is going to beat him obviously and anyone else he fights is going to beat him but if I did it me little fucking Lil Z over here big boy less training than him stuff like that that would ruin him forever and hopefully you know he could finally fucking quit boxing and keep stop disgracing it but um that maybe not is my answer Next um, is Nick Joseph, who actually is very good. Um, I think he has a good technique. He is powerful as fuck, and I think that would be a great fight. I was not sure if that was my first or second fight, maybe even third. Now with my pick that I want to do, because I still kind of want to fight Chase. But at the same time, Nick Joseph, man, he is someone to be reckoned with, and I want that blood. And then finally, um, is the fight that never happened. I wanted the winner of Alex Stein or Modine, mainly Modine, cause he looks interesting. I don't know. He he he, he's got a funny build. I can't lie. So so yeah, I wanted the winner of that fight, and I believed it was gonna be Modine because Alex Stein is just some old weirdo. Anyway, though, um, I think I have chosen my option though. It has been suggested recently. And I think back on the stream too, um, I don't remember where it was. I looked for it over and over again to try and post. But uh, yeah, it's been suggested. I know since uh, July, the fan. The fan. Who is this fan? Well, the fan, uh, seven, blah, 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 I don't know, is this fucking KSI fan. More specifically, the number one KSI dick rider ever. Ever! This man defended his elbow. I forgot the elbow. Oh, I forgot the elbow. Oh, the cool fucking elbow. It was I a fly. This man sucks him off with everything he does. This man acts like he's a bigger draw than he actually is. This man fucking thinks his karate stance is gonna be the one thing to take down Tommy Fury. He does karate stance. Have you seen that shit, Wade? So just standing bladed is going to be the solution. No, but Tommy doesn't... Listen, Tommy hasn't f fighted. <laughs> this dude is an idiot. He's an idiot. But... He might just be the one. He might just be the one. I've been really thinking about it recently, and it is hilarious. It is hysterical. The number one KSI dick rider versus one of the biggest Misfits criticizer ever. Biggest KSI criticizer. It's just going to be a fucking hilarious fight. It's like Corn versus Unbear, but like our own little version. So, this is the message to the fan, Mr. Elbow Enjoyer, Mr. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I know you're sitting there eating chips and hosting your 18 hour Twitter spaces, but I've seen your pad footage. I've seen you on a box. I've seen you kicked off on a card just for mental health purposes. I don't know, or maybe you're just being a big baby. But either way, Come out of your room next year and fight me. 
We could even try to do it sometime in the next few months. Like, hell, I'll, I'll go to Saudi Arabia or somewhere and fight on... We could do the whole social knockout route. It would be so funny. A freaking 17-year-old kid beating the shit out of someone again while he'd already proved that two years ago. So, like, doing it again with me and you is going to be hilarious. Like, I know I can beat you. And I know in my heart that you're not about it. You think fucking elbowing an opponent is the way of boxing. You think this, like, karate stance is going to beat natural boxing. You think that you could box. You think you could win. I am going to prove you wrong whenever, however I want. I want to fight you. You, sir, the fan, knowledge will be my first opponent. You will be my first opponent and I will beat the ever living fucking shit out of you. I don't even need to like get fit. Cause clearly if I get fit, I'm gonna cut and um, I don't think we're gonna be around the same way. So I'm gonna work on my cardio. I'm gonna work on everything. I'm gonna still train, but I'm not gonna cut weight. I'm gonna stay right. I'm gonna stay at 280, 290 for you. So you could come down hopefully to 300. I don't know. It's hard for you to work out anyway. It's hard for you to take like two steps without like freaking getting a sweat drop on your face. So I'll stay. I'll stay at the same weight I am. I'll, I'll let you come down to me so we can meet at that point. I don't want to get as big as you because that's just kind of sad. But the fan. Just know I want you to be ready. I want you to be ready because when we fight, this will be the end of your delusion. This will be the end of you and acting like you know everything. You don't. You don't. And I will prove that. I will prove that. So to my audience that I have slowly built. I want to get this uh, out there. All it takes is one message. All it takes is one thing. So use hashtag Zangcraft versus KSI likes big toes. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> anyway, um, use the tag Zangcraft versus the fan and the numbers down there. I still don't remember them because this man is just a random weirdo. I mean, at least Zanecraft123 is easy to understand. But anyway, use hashtag Zanecraft versus the fan 7 something on Instagram, Twitter, videos on here, community posts, anything to get out the message that I want to fight this guy and I will beat him. And it is going to be the start, the rise of me, the fan. I just want to let you know, look into my eyes. It is okay. It is okay to being a stepping stone. And you are my stepping stone. You are my stepping stone. I am going to go from you to either Chase and Nick Joseph and Chase the ladder of this influencer boxing heavyweight route. Hopefully going to one day match up with Tempo, which me and him have the same stats. So he's a better fight than you ever will be. But still... I want to give you a chance to like get out of your house and like go work out, go have some fun, go do something more active than hosting Twitter spaces and looking like a freaking incel. That's, that's all you are. You're just an incel. So the fan, take me seriously. Let's get something happening. You done boy.